Hi, my name's James from the YouTube channel Plumber Parts and YouTube has sunk to a new low. By the way, comment below this video what you think the next plumbing disasters intro should be and who knows, I might read it out. Hi everybody, welcome back to Plumber Parts and the fantastic plumbing disasters, photos and videos that you have sent us in on Instagram, Facebook and on Twitter. Firstly, I just wanna say thanks ever so much for continuing to send these in. They're so good to see. It's very easy for you to do it. You can just tag us on Instagram at Plumber Parts and use the hashtag Plumbing Disaster. You can also do the same thing on Twitter and the same thing on Facebook as well. Or you can send us DMs on any of those social medias, all right? But before we continue with the video, we've now got our lovely plumbing hoodies in stock. It's getting a bit chillier now, isn't it? Also, remember to check out our Amazon store as well. There's loads of random bits and pieces there that you might find interesting in the world of plumbing and DIY. Anyway, without further ado, let's get on with this week's videos. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification so you don't miss out on any disasters. And of course, I want to know which disaster do you think was the worst? Which one is the winner? Let's get on with these disasters, guys. And remember, to hold tight in one underscore 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 harmful arm it's called harmful which i've got to say is quite ironic actually because look at the flu on this boiler here nothing is right is it this is what happens when builders come in and do stuff putting in extensions left right and center and not caring about the safety of the people who live there in two i mean i actually think this should be a thing underneath sinks because they get very cold and damp 777 plumbing found this little beast under it all full pipe work as well nice to see there's a plunger too big fan of that but a massive fact that they've put a bloody radiator under there hell yeah by the way our very own joshy boy did a little plum proud here fixed a disabled toilet handle that wasn't working by doing a little bit of old pipe bending and all that sort of thing reminds me of one of the edinburgh fringe festival jokes that said why are disabled toilets so big you can run around in them i'm sure someone's going to report me for being not very pc but i don't care anymore guys Oh. In three, A Wallace Plumbing, blooming it. What is going on here? We've got a bit of JG, some waste pipe coming down from the basin, going all the way down and all the way back up again. I mean, what can go wrong here? <laughs> oh, in four, CP Utility Solutions found this hidey or boiler hiding inside a cupboard that had been boxed around the cupboard by the bloody carpenter or the kitchen fitter who doesn't ever think about plumbers and what we need in life and it's disgraceful. And five, crush finish, fine rush bishin. Well, I'm, uh, oh, I'm not gonna do it anymore. Chris Finish found this little base in here. As you can see, we've got a tap there that is not quite reaching it. They either didn't have the cojones to knock a hole in the basin or they're just stupid. One thing I do love about it is the fact that they've used two little tiles on each side there to dam the water flow as it comes round. Pusso Bagare Il Conto Por Favori. Take my money now, baby. In six, Dan Van 90 on Insta sent us through this lovely bit of work here. We've got lots of different colour bits of pipe. We've got loads and loads of inch and a half and probably a bit of an inch and a quarter going in there as well. We've even got below ground soil pipe there. And also there's a bit of Picasso going on as well when it comes to the painting behind the wall. Maybe the painter was just so disgusted by this, he thought, I ain't gonna bring my brush near that. I don't know. Time for a plump, time for a plump, time for a, time for a plum proud. CP Utility Services uses the fisheye function to take photos of their fantastic work. So it looks like it's coming out of Kerrang! magazine in 1998. In seven, Chris, and Sean send us through this lovely piece of you know, pot going through here. Chris, with your big burly arms. Look at that flu going through there. Sticking <laughs> Oh man, how did no one die in this? How did this happen? Thanks for this photo, man, cheers. <laughs> in eight, Barry J. Atkins stumbled across the scene of Psycho. In fact, I should probably put this in the Halloween disasters that we're actually planning in a few weeks' time. Zone one, that light should not be there. And it's just grotty, isn't it? It's the sort of shower you could stand in and have a ciggy in, isn't it? In nine, sent in by ISM Plumbing Heating. It's not really a disaster, actually, but I just thought I'd show it to you anyway, because it brings back fond memories of when I was extending my house. And through poor planning, I moved my boiler about two times more than I should have done. But there we go. They've built a lovely little house around the ear to make it look all happy and safe. You know, I think that's nice. 
intent. Oh, I mean, look, they've done a little bit of pipe work here because they've moved the radiator over. They tried. But then you look at the other end, you realise actually they didn't try. Flexi Friday Madness, hashtag Rude Rad as well. Thanks for sending that in, jb.gaskinel5, with your very trendy name. I mean, why does this sort of thing happen? Who stood back and put their hands on their hips and said, oh my God, what a great job I've just done. <laughs> Oh, plum mate, what have you done here? Nice little bit of plumbing there to make that lovely radiator. Also, I do love the plumbing work you've done with that bath tap. In fact, honestly, this is probably one of the best plum prouds I've seen in a shower when it comes to lovely shiny copper I've ever bloody seen. <laughs> As we're halfway through this week's disasters and the odd plum proud photo, I thought it would be a good idea to remind you about our Amazon store. There's loads of stuff there that we've used in previous videos. We do earn a small commission out of anything you buy, so it really helps the channel, and it will help me out on my long search for things that make me happy on Amazon as well. You can find links to the Amazon store in the top pinned comment and the description below. You can also click the join button below this video and donate a tiny little bit of money as well to my beer fund. Oh. In 11, and I don't know how many of these I've seen now, L underscore Irons sent us through this radiator that's going up the bloody stairs. I mean, I think I've seen about four or five of these. I mean, it might have been the same photo that people are sending in, but I mean, I think I'd remember that lovely bit of shag carpet, darling. <laughs> in 12, Lager Thompson sent us through this beast. I mean, there's so much wrong here, you might as well pause the video and feast the eyes on it. Uh, I mean, the worst bit is obviously that little propped up bit on top of the roof there, but I mean, where do you live, Lager Thompson? I mean, this place it looks like an absolute dive, mate. Student digs. Reminds me of a time when I was working at Lucy Cavendish College and I knocked on the door. It's an all-girls college. And I heard a girl go, come in, mate. And I went in there and she was laying in bed as a university student with some bloke. And she said, yeah, the shower's in there. Just go and fix it. And I just laid in bed. Mad. The you for today. I thought about that one when I got home. Oh, baby. In 13, Liam underscore Haddo got called out to this blocked sink. Now, it's mental that they thought this was blocked, but this is probably the easiest 480 quid Liam has ever made whilst working in Chelsea, Fulham area. But that's not the worst of it. It's your comments on Instagram. Z Edinburgh was like, that's a peas take. We got, at least it wasn't elite. Easy peasy. Just get some PTFE on it. P take, this is 100%. Nothing to be peed off about. Nice, easy one. Unpeelievable. Peed in the sink. Peas tell me this is a joke. Easy Easy peasy money. Another happy customer. I mean, you lot are bloody dreadful. Davies Plumbing, look at that. Look at all those lovely drain cocks lined up in a row. Look at all those lovely valves there, colour coordinated. And we've even got a lovely secondary return. What a lovely plum proud. In 14, Plumbing Russ 1 found a homemade squid. What they've done is they flattened out the 22 mil pipe and then soldered on some lovely bit of 10 mil on the end to make a wee little squid. Now, they've actually probably overcome a massive problem here, let's face it. These actually exist in real life. There's proper built ones of these, usually sort of fitted in the 70s and 80s. Often, for some reason, find them leaking in screed floors of old people's houses while they stand there watching you destroy their floor because of the knobhead that installed it 20 or 30 years beforehand. But that's life, and pay for multiple holidays to Barbados. In 15, master. Roy Dot Fleming sent us through this lovely beast here. There's awful plumbing going along here. I mean, there's lots to see. So just as I said, pause it and have a look. But one of the big things you're going to notice is the fact that the drop on the toilet thing is obviously dreadful, but the fact that it's from next door. I mean, that's like next door taking a massive dump in your garden every bloody day. Cool, hello you pretty little thing. Far8350 sent us a lovely little under sink install. It looks like a Kingspan under sink water heater. Got one of these sexy little babies underneath my sink. You can open my cupboard doors anytime, love. In 16, Skylar one on Instagram sent us through possibly the worst Flexi Friday I've ever seen in my goddamn life. I mean, that's so twisted up, isn't it? It's like a bloody snake, isn't it? A snake twisting up around S. Guy Leary's life. S. Guy Leary, comment if you're watching this video. Did it actually work? Did it work? In 17, Simon Manda found a job where not only did they want to have the highest shower ever in the world, probably couldn't get into the stack without a fall because they weren't plumbers, obviously, but he also found out where all the bloody timber went. I mean, that's being erected eight inches up into the air. 
<laughs> I'm gonna move on to another photo, sorry. <laughs> in 18, Waitley Plumbing sent us through this one on Insta. Now this is a pressure relief valve. These are incredibly important pieces of kit and they are there for your safety. They should never be valved off. So whatever you do, don't use ISOs as irons to get them onto 15 mil pipe. It's just an accident waiting to happen. It's a bomb waiting to go off in your face. <laughs> In no, 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 19 for you Paul Hardcastle fans. What is going on here? I'm just going to leave this here for a few seconds and you can just, I'm not even going to do anything with a photo. You can just look at it and enjoy. All right, that's enough. And in 20, this was sent to me by my mate Noddy, who was on a golf trip in France with some of his mates. Would you want this in your bedroom? So, the French think of absolutely everything. Who wouldn't want this in the corner of their bedroom? Maestro? Beautiful. <laughs> Listen and get your ass out. <laughs> oh, hello, you pretty little thing. This one's sent in by the gas expert. I mean, wow. Doing a Harry Potter themed boiler install. That is absolutely incredible. Honestly, I'm actually blown away by this. What a great install. Creme de month work there, mate. Love it. So there you go, guys. All done and dusted. How about that? Which was your worst disaster or your favourite? Don't really know how to put it. So comment below which do you think was the worst disaster and also how you think I should start the next Plumbing Disasters video. Make it a nice snappy little quote. You never know, I might read it out, all right? So thanks ever so much for coming along, guys. I'll see you in the next instructional video that we do. And remember to hold tight. Ciao, bella.